So let's continue our discussion on the different types of organelles found inside eukaryotic cells and let's focus on the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. Now right outside the nucleus of most eukaryotic cells and we say most because some eukaryotic cells such as red blood cells do not contain the endoplasmic reticulum nor do they contain the Golgi apparatus. Now right outside the nucleus of most eukaryotic cells is a network of membraneous folds known as the endoplasmic reticulum or simply the ER. Now the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum is a bilayer, it's a phospholipid bilayer that separates the cytosol portion of our cell with the inside space of our ER. Now the space, the fluid inside our endoplasmic reticulum is known as the ER lumen or the cisternal space. Now the ER can basically be subdivided into two regions. We have the smooth ER and we have the rough ER and let's begin by discussing what the rough ER is and what the functions of the rough ER are. So the membraneous folds found closest to the nucleus of our cell contain ribosomes embedded on the cytosol side of our endoplasmic reticular membrane. These ribosomes function to synthesize proteins that are ultimately either embedded into the cell membrane, these proteins are known as integral proteins or they are destined to leave our cell altogether. Now the membrane of the rough ER is actually physically connected to the membrane of the nucleus known as the nuclear membrane or the nuclear envelope and for this reason we see that the perinuclear space, the space between the double layer of our nuclear envelope and the ER lumen is actually physically connected as well. And that makes sense because inside our nucleus, in a region known as the nucleolus, we basically synthesize the ribosomal RNA sub subunits that are needed to create the ribosomes that end up in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, once the proteins in the rough endoplasmic reticulum are synthesized on the cytosol side, we basically take those synthesized proteins, we place them into the ER lumen, and then they travel through the rough ER lumen and eventually into the smooth ER lumen. So now let's discuss the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now, by the way, if this is our diagram of the eukaryotic cell, we have the nucleus, we have our rough endoplasmic reticulum that contains these folds. We have slightly smoother, more tubular folds on the smooth ER and this is our Golgi apparatus. So let's discuss the smooth ER which is this section here. Now the smooth ER contains folds that are slightly more tubular than the folds on the rough ER and this can be seen from this picture here. Now unlike the rough ER, the smooth ER does not contain ribosomes embedded in the membrane and that's exactly why we call it the smooth ER. Now since it doesn't contain any ribosomes inside our membrane, that means the smooth ER is not directly involved in synthesizing our proteins. However, it does contain some very important enzymes that that are basically involved in creating glucose and this enzyme that I'm talking about is known as glucose 6-phosphatase. So glucose 6-phosphatase is an enzyme that is important in the generation of glucose. But perhaps the most important or one of the most important functions of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the synthesis of different types of lipids and this includes fatty acids, it includes 
phospholipids, it also includes cholesterol. In fact, cholesterol can be transformed into the different types of steroids inside the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And finally, our uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum can also detoxify drugs. It can undergo different types of oxidation reactions in which it detoxifies toxin and drugs such as for example alcohol. So one might imagine that the cells in our liver contain very large smooth ER and that's because in the liver one of the main roles of our liver is to basically detoxify the different drugs and toxins that we ingest into our body. Now, finally, let's move on to our Golgi apparatus. So what exactly is the Golgi apparatus? Where is it found? And what are some of its functions? So the Golgi apparatus is a series of flattened membranous sacs known as cisterni. So if this is the smoothie R, the Golgi apparatus is relatively close to our smoothie R. And notice it's also pretty large. So we can see it clearly under a microscope. Now, once the proteins are synthesized on the cytosol side of our rough ER, they are injected, they are forced into our ER lumen and they travel through the ER lumen into our smooth ER. And from the smooth ER, they are basically ejected into the cytosol by using some type of secretory vesicle. So secretory vesicles carry our proteins from our rough ER and the smooth ER into the Golgi apparatus. And all the proteins basically collect inside our Golgi apparatus. And what the Golgi apparatus does is it basically organizes, it modifies, and it ships out all those proteins into the different parts of the cell as well as the cell membrane and outside the cell. So basically, one thing that I forgot to mention about the rough ER is the proteins synthesized in the ribosomes of the rough ER are the proteins that eventually either end up in our cell membrane or they end up leaving the cell entirely. And that means inside our ribosome, inside our rough ER when we synthesize the proteins, we also add a special type of signal known as as the signal sequence or the peptide sequence onto the protein and that signal se uh, sequence basically signifies the fact that the protein's uh, destination is either in the cell membrane or it's outside the cell. And when the protein ends up, uh, uh, ends up in our Golgi apparatus, that sequence is modified. So basically we can modify proteins in the Golgi apparatus either by adding carbohydrates on it or modifying in some other type of way. For example, we phosphorylate our proteins. Now, inside the Golgi apparatus, we also form several types of polysaccharides. So, our Golgi apparatus contains many important enzymes that are involved in forming different types of polysaccharides of sugars. And one other important function of the Golgi apparatus is to basically create lysosomes. So what happens is certain proteins that end up staying in our cytosol will basically leave the Golgi apparatus in a vesicle, in a secretory vesicle, and that secretory vesicle becomes a lysosome. Now inside that lysosome, we contain the different types of modified proteins that are able to hydrolyze different types of products when they fuse with our lysosome. So we see that the Golgi apparatus is the organelle where we basically organize, modify, and ship all the proteins throughout the cell, throughout the membrane, and outside the cell. It's the place where we form lysosomes. It's also a place where we form polysaccharides. We modify our proteins in many different ways. Now, the rough endoplasmic reticulum primarily functions to create our, uh, uh, our proteins that end up being placed either into the cell membrane or leave the cell entirely. And our smoothie R has several important 
functions. It basically acts to detoxify drugs and toxin. It acts to create or synthesize lipids such as fatty acids, phospholipids, and cholesterol as well as create different types of steroids. And it also acts to basically create a source of glucose by using glucose 6-phosphatase, our enzyme, that creates glucose.